Tesla software updates speed up recalls. March 4, 2022. In a recent analysis, Reuters addresses Tesla's over-the-air software update capability and its association with recalls. It also compares Tesla to other automakers related to how many recalls are handled. And of those, how many were taken care of with a software update? The publication is clear that Tesla's software updates are able to execute recalls quickly and efficiently. It also suggests that rival automakers may be jealous. However, on the flip side, Reuters addresses the potential risks involved as cars become more like rolling computers. Tesla has had a large number of recalls of late, and many of the issues have been fixed with a software update. Despite the higher number of Tesla recalls recently, the automaker has had many fewer recalls than other automakers over the last two years. Reuters shared the following graph to illustrate this. As you can see, Tesla has the lowest number of recalls over the time period, and it handled many of them with an over-the-air update. Reuters points to the long list of recent Tesla recalls and warns that a quick fix may not always be the right answer. It's great that Tesla can roll out software updates quickly and easily. But there's risk involved if that recall WASNT extensively tested and validated. Tesla's software approach is aggressive, and it wants to be on the cutting edge. Tesla CEO Elon Musk has said that if you are not failing, you are not innovating enough. Which is certainly true. Source reposted and summarized from Stephen Loveday at Inside E. V. S. My take the over the air updates gives Tesla a huge advantage over other car manufacturers for sure. Is Tesla going to outpace Lexus and BMW March 4, 2022? For much of the auto industry's recent history, luxury auto sales have been dominated by Lexus and BMW. However, Tesla's push toward the emergence of the electric vehicle is expected to change that in the years to come. Tesla is on track to outpace luxury automaker sales from Lexus and BMW amidst a major shift to EVs is the new, most coveted type of luxury vehicle. According to a report in January from Jalopnik, the report details Tesla's U.S. registrations through November of 2021 as compared to those of Lexus and BMW as Tesla sales slowly creep up on old guard luxury automakers. In November of 2021, Tesla's 11-month registrations reached 303,246, while BMW registered 318,182 vehicles in the same period. The figure marks an impressive 75% surge for Tesla year over year. Tesla's estimated US deliveries for the whole of 2021 were also set at 313,400 by the Automotive News Research and Data Center. The figure shows Tesla narrowly falling behind luxury auto leader BMW which reached 336,644 vehicles sold throughout 2021. And beating out Lexus, which sold 304,475 units in the US between Tesla's booming US factories and its unique, incrementally updated release model. The company is offering more than most luxury vehicles for consumers, explains Executive Director of Insights at Edmunds Jessica Caldwell. Tesla's incremental sales are a major contributor to the luxury market outpacing the new vehicle market as a whole. Said Caldwell, Tesla ISNT just capturing the luxury consumer. It's also offering something a bit different to lure in affluent consumers who may have not prioritized buying a Mercedes-Benz or BMW in the past. Even if they could afford it. 2021 was also a rough year for the auto industry as a whole with semiconductor shortages causing slowed production for many automakers and an overall slump in sales. Tesla managed to navigate the shortages better than major U.S. automakers General Motors and Ford, as well as a number of luxury vehicle makers. Source reposted and summarized from Peter McGuthrie at Evanex. My take in the next few years. Tesla is going to roll over all those guys. Tesla Software Update 2022.8. March 4. 2022, Tesla has started deploying their latest software update, 2022.8, which was first detected by the iOS-based Stats app this morning. The release notes aren't available yet, but this version is expected to disable Boombox when the car is in drive, neutral and reverse. Elon Musk called the NHTSA the fun police for making them turn off the feature. According to the safety agency, the ability to play custom sounds while driving may obscure the federally mandated pedestrian warning system sounds. Transport Canada has not issued the same recall. 
so hopefully Teslas in Canada will still be able to fart at nearby pedestrians or tease children by playing the ice cream truck sound while driving down neighborhood streets in the summer. Source reposted and summarized from Darren John at Drive Tesla Canada. My take too bad. Having lots of fun with the boombox. Elon Musk on affordable electric trucks. March 4, 2022. Tesla's CEO Elon Musk responded to a tweet related to pricing of upcoming electric vehicles. Specifically the Tesla Cybertruck. He wrote that the company's primary challenge is affordability. Because creating an expensive truck is relatively easy. He HASNT specified a certain price level and there is no pricing available for the Tesla Cybertruck. But we can safely assume that Tesla would like to be below vehicles like the GMC Hummer EV pickup starts at about $110,000. Very interesting is the second part of the tweet. Which says that introducing an affordable product is extremely hard for Tesla. Despite its greater economies of scale and better technology. In Elon Musk's opinion. For other manufacturers. An affordable EV product is damn near impossible. While many people might focus on what Tesla can or can't do. Musk's answer could also be a bit worrying. It basically means that it's extremely hard to achieve affordability with trucks. Which is why we see many expensive electric pickup trucks. But few with more reasonable price tags. Just recently, Stethlantis CEO Carlos Tavares complained about the electrification costs. Pointing out that battery electric car production is 40 to 50 percent more costly than conventional counterparts. Stethlantis seeks solutions on how not to transfer those costs to consumers. Source reposted and summarized from Mark Kane at Inside E. V. S. My take there you have it. I think GM and Ford are terrified of the Cybertruck.